What's up guys, Evil D here, and today I'm going to speak about the thing that's on everyone's mind, and that is the Duolingo course in Esperanto. Now, if you haven't heard about the Duolingo course in Esperanto, you're living under a rock, because every Esperantist is posting messages about it, it's announcement everywhere, on Facebook, on Google+, Reddit, YouTube, everywhere. Like, people have even been messaging me going, hey, have you checked out this course yet? So, well, thanks for that guys, in case I missed it, but yeah, it's just absolutely everywhere at the moment. Now, of course, like every good Esperanto, I quickly jumped on as soon as I heard it launch this morning for me in particular like I think it was like three hours after it launched I saw the notice and I, I quickly logged in and tried it out on the way to work on the train and I cannot praise this course enough it is friggin fantastic it is the most professional Esperanto course I have ever seen this is not to say that like other courses like Learnu and that aren't good they are great the way that they work but Duolingo presents like a totally new method for learning a language which is um they basically call it the gamifying method uh, method it's it basically turns the whole language learning process into just this big game and I absolutely love this method I've I've probably done about four hours today on the on the actual um, Duolingo course. Now, I'm only about a quarter of the way through because I was actually like speaking out, typing, going completely from the start. I didn't jump anything because I want to go through the entire course. I, w I want to see exactly everything that's involved. It's such a fantastic course. Now, the pronunciation is perfect. I haven't seen any spelling mistakes. So for a, for a beta release, this is freaking awesome. I've been using it on the iPad and iPhone. Now, you can't use it on the actual Duolingo. Duolingo app, it's not available yet, so if you do want to use it, you can just use it straight through the browser because Duolingo's website is actually mobile friendly, it basically looks like the app. So yeah, just to, in case you haven't realised that yet. This here also represents something else to me, obviously this is a great um, advertising tool for the Esperanto community because for instance a lot of people who are interested in German or French or whatever, they go and check out French and then they have a look at the other languages and go, oh Esperanto, and they click on it and that's a possible person that we've managed to reach that previously wouldn't have but it represents also something else for me in the last say 10 years or maybe that's actually probably like 15 years now with the birth of the internet slowly Esperanto has been appearing in more and more places so you know you had learn to pop up which was like basically the main thing for at least five years and then you had like Wikipedia and then you had the PIV come online and then you start getting all these other things like Facebook translation um, Wiki, uh, I mentioned Wikipedia, but then you get like Firefox and you just, you're starting to get all these things. Google is showing support by allowing the, what, putting the translation mod in there, even though it's not that great, but still more and more big like businesses and stuff like that are starting to recognize the importance of Esperanto or at least are getting it like annoyed enough by Esperanto that they're like yeah sure we'll just translate whatever you want, just get off our back. But it's becoming more and more prominent, which is exactly what the Esperanto community needs because at the moment the biggest problem with Esperanto is that most people just have never heard of it. I swear if like if everyone in the world heard it we would probably have a massive influx of people who'd come and learn the language but since so many people haven't heard of it and they haven't heard of like an easy way to learn it they obviously they, they can't come to the language so this has presented a really really good way of advertising the language free of charge to a massive group of people and it also puts us on par with the other languages like English and French and all that type of stuff. So I'm I'm having an absolute ball with this course. I'm glad that when I logged in, I started playing around with it. It wasn't filled with errors because even though it's a beta release, you do want to present the best image possible. And the team that is behind this, you guys are freaking awesome. Like I I haven't found one single issue yet, and I'm about a quarter of the way through the course. Maybe not quite a quarter, but you get the general idea. Now another thing is I'm gonna actually stick my Duolingo profile down in the description, so feel free to follow me so that we can you know compare and race each other or whatever to the top type of thing but it would be good just to have like those random conversations with other learners as well um, so yeah follow me on uh, Duolingo if you haven't already before I just close off this video I just want to get your thoughts on this what do you think about this obviously it's a great advancement for the Esperanto community but how do you think we can go forward from here what's some what's a way we can utilize this to try and push Esperanto even more but anyway that's it so if you've liked this video give it a like um, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video and if you're not there well I'm probably not there either because I'm on Duolingo <laughs> Ha 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 ha!